my name is Mohammed Kabiri, and um, I believe I should be the winner of this competition as I aim to bring to, to market a product that can help millions worldwide. My grandmother has mobility issues, so I was in the market for electric curtains in order to assist her. However, to my shock horror, I could see that they are all outrageously overpriced and overly complicated to install. So myself being mechanically inclined, I decided to solve these problems. My product is called Glytronic, and it is a patent-pending, revolutionary product that can turn any curtain pole into an electric curtain rail. Now, my product is unique in the 200 million pound a year electric curtain industry in that it will retail for 59.99, so we will be by far the most affordable, and our, our product takes less than five minutes full installation without requiring any tools. We will be targeting two key markets. The first is the five and a half million people in the UK who have some form of mobility issue. The second is the growing $3.6 billion home automation market. We hope to entice, entice our customers by continuously innovating. For example, our products will be able to work with smartphones and tablets very, very soon. So you'll be able to close your curtains from anywhere in the world. <laughs> uh, in our first year, we hope to make, sorry, within three years, we hope to make turnover of just over 500,000 with a net profit of under 220,000. We hope our brand can be the household name in regards to home automation in the UK. Thank you very much. My name is Maria Stanisor, and this is my partner, Giordano Riccardi. Uh, sharing a background in business studies and an interest in agriculture and organic products, and seeing the increased demand uh, for such goods, we came up with the idea of starting the International Snail Farm, a free-range snail farm based in Romania. The farm will be 100% organic, uh, providing live snails retailed mostly to the Italian market, where there is a high demand for such products. Um, in order to establish long-term trustworthy relationships with our customers, uh, we guarantee good value for money products. Snail, uh, snail meat is a very good source of protein, uh, having very low levels of cholesterol and uh, unsaturated fat, thus making it a very um, healthy alternative to traditional meat dishes. So, as Maria said, we are aiming to the Italian market. That's why, because uh, um, in the last 15 years, the consumption of snail rose from 10,000 tons to 40,000 tons per year. But the internal pro uh, production has been able to cover only 35% of the demand, leaving a lot of opportunities for a foreign air exporter like us. Uh, we are looking for an initial investment of 240,000 euros over a period of two years. This money will be raised with the help of the European Community Funds for Agriculture, private investment, and also crowdfunding website. We are uh, looking for a return on investment of 100% by the end of year four. Uh, why we want to win the competition? Because uh, this is going to increase our credibility among investors, banks, and also uh, communities, local communities. Um, thank you very much for. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The new Football Academy is a fresh approach in childcare and training young people aged 9 to 16, located in Greenwich Peninsula at the London Soccer Stone, Europe's premier indoor football arena. Operating in the Olympic Borough of Greenwich, my group aimed to use this wonderful location as leverage to support the London Olympic Organization sustainability and legacy plans. Our business will provide a unique blend of personal development with FA licensed coaching and academic support to young people from a variety of backgrounds and ability levels to engage a fun learning experience in a safe environment. What's more, the new Football Academy aims to enhance skills and knowledge in football, nutrition, teamwork and communication, which could be argued to be very important amongst young people these days. So a little about our market. Our service meets an emerging demand. Many families struggle not only to find affordable childcare, but ways that develop the individual child during holiday periods. Our market research reveals that the childcare sector in the UK is a 5.7 billion pound per year industry, estimated to grow to 7.2 billion pounds by the year 2015 with a 6.6% annual growth between the years 2008 to 2013. So who's interested, you may ask? Two big clubs have already expressed interest. Fulham and Gillingham, with Charlton, Millwall, and Crystal Palace considering the scheme. 
Our unique mix of a passion for football, development in young people with an injection of academic support, nutrition, and a zest for a healthy lifestyle creates a sustainable competitive advantage and makes us a serious contender for your support.